It's about that time of day again. Welcome back to your nightly newsletter, boys and girls. Joseph James here. Thursday evening, May 7, 2015. In tonight's newsletter, crude oil looking mighty bearish this evening, even after the first inventory draw of 2015 on Wednesday morning. Just a little bit bearish. Trading inside a strong bear channel, sellers definitely keep looking for those opportunities at resistance levels tomorrow. Buyers, though, you guys definitely have a little bit of a short covering rally. Definitely have some profit taking opportunities here right now if you're a bull right now on crude. But get to it quick. I've got some spots overhead I want you guys to be watching. So bulls and bears on crude, you better stay tuned. Gold, yellow metal is bearish this evening. Also bearish this evening, trading inside two different bear channels, which means very similar to crude. We're focused on selling resistance levels on the way back. We are looking at going all the way back to the range lows from two weeks ago. Very exciting stuff if you're a bear on the gold. We talked about it last week. We're finally getting it back here again. And how about the euro? The 6E, the euro futures, also bearish, coming off the highs of a huge bull channel that's right bull channel so sellers have the advantage but just in the short term because buyers have some tasty support zones some ranges down near the lows of this long-term channel you better be ready if you're a seller on the euro right now and buyers we got some we got a plan for you guys tomorrow now these markets are getting warmed up for tomorrow's non-farm payroll report the biggest news that we get as professional traders it's only about 16 hours away right now, so we need to be prepared for anything tomorrow. You know where I'll be. I'll be here in my trade room tomorrow morning, trading with all of our students here at School of Trade. Before we jump into our charts and give you guys some strategies for tomorrow's non-farm payroll Friday, I do want to remind you guys, make sure you're watching this video over on our trading blog here at SidewaysMarkets.com. There are three reasons why you should be watching this newsletter video on our trading blog. Reason number one. You can download all the charts that I'm going to use tonight right below the video. See those cute little charts right there? Yeah, you can download all the charts I'm going to go over in the video. Just simply click on those charts, and you can use those tomorrow anytime you need. Second thing, upper left-hand corner. I got a free pass for you. If you're not a member of School of Trade and you're wondering, what does it feel like to be in our trade room? What does it mean to be a student? I've got a free pass for you. Come out and join me in the trade room tomorrow as a guest. And of course, last but not least, yeah, there was three. I'm not a math major either. Nightly newsletter mailing list, name and email address. That's all it takes, guys. I'll send you an email every evening right around 8 p.m. Eastern time when this newsletter is ready to be viewed with your strategies for tomorrow. So three things here. Download all of my charts, grab your free pass, and register for the nightly newsletter mailing list. Just a heads up, if you register for the mailing list or you grab your free pass, make sure you check your email inbox. I'm going to send your verification email just to make sure you're not a friendly robot, right? I don't think you're a robot, but I do want to make sure we have the correct email address and give me approval to keep going in the future. Are you ready to rock and roll? I've been, I've been ready to rock and roll here all afternoon. Excited to be back here. Last session for me this week. I don't do these on Fridays, remember. They do let me out of this cage at least once or twice a week. Starting off here with gold futures. Wrapping it up for the week here. Whoa, there's a lot going on this chart. There's quite a bit on this chart. I always... I always try very hard to keep it as simple as possible and not to overload these charts with things that you don't need. But really, everything here is is useful. Let's take a look. Gold is bearish this evening, trading inside two bear channels, and we also have a trading range, right? So we got we got a trifecta here today on the yellow metal. Now, obviously, the bearish channels tell us to keep looking for selling opportunities, and the trading range is going to give us opportunities of resistance overhead to sell, but also, of course, you have your targets waiting for you below. So the buyers need to be very careful right now. There's a ton of resistance area overhead. The sellers, you guys have the pick of the litter right now. As the price goes higher, selling range highs goes higher, selling channel highs, selling trigger zone highs, selling range expansion highs. Now, tomorrow's non-farm payroll Friday, so this, you know what, could get a little bit bonkers out there. It could definitely get a little bit crazy because of non-farm payrolls. So 
where this baby goes tomorrow initially is, of course, it's, it's, a, it, 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 it's almost as bad as a coin toss. Well, you saw what happened in inventories earlier this week on crude, right? If you think the news is going to be predictable, it, it's, it's, well, good luck to you. I prefer to make it easy on myself. Let the news come out, and then I'm going to use my, my preparation levels to, of course, then follow the long-term trend and then trade after the news is released. So sellers... Range highs, channel highs, range expansion highs, right? Take that trading range, expand it up here once, expand it up here twice. So as we go higher, sellers are definitely going to be looking for opportunities here to get short at these resistance levels overhead. Remember, we're not predicting. We're waiting for the proper entry trigger. It may be a reversal pattern. It may be a failed buy pattern at resistance. It may also be to wait for price to make the turn and then sell those rips on the way back down. Remember, there are three ways to sell as that price starts moving higher. Reversal pattern, failed buying pattern, uh-huh, 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 and then wait for the turn. That'll give you the third one, and you can sell those rips going right on down. Members of mine, you guys know what I'm talking about. Now, what are all these support levels below? Well, these are going to make for excellent targets. So, as we go up here and come back down, I've got targets here now at the range lows, extension support, A, B, C, and of course, extension support. I hope we know what happens after C. And of course, we have range expansion and trigger zone support. This trigger zone's coming all the way off that range low, right? Back down to that 69.7. So sellers, stay focused on selling at resistance. Take your profit at support levels on the way back down. And careful, careful, careful tomorrow ahead of that 8.30 a.m. Uh, non-farm payroll report. Gold is one of those markets that's going to be highly susceptible, some crazy volatility tomorrow because it's non-farm payrolls. Remember, monetary policy, monetary policy. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, how about the euro? The 6E, the euro futures. Euro is long-term bullish and short-term bearish this evening. We can see a recent bear channel break. Long-term bullish long-term bullish. If I zoom out a little bit further on this chart, you can see this channel goes back quite a ways. Long-term bullish, even got medium-term, undershot the highs, right? Remember, this is the channel we're looking at last night. Undershot the highs, breaks through. That was your clue right there. Buyers didn't even sniffle after that, after that price pulled back. Now we have our short-term bear channel, a break, and we're looking at what should be a measured move, right? I would be expecting a measured move after that broken channel. Sellers will continue to push this down before they take their profit. And as you can see, as I'm recording this right now, just after 6 o'clock Eastern time, the open of Globex here for Friday, we, autumn, we, just, we instantly just gap down. So definitely got a bearish push here. So definitely expecting a measured move which would put us right into this area here. Okay, no telling where we're going to make the turn from there, but we definitely do expect here, sellers, you've got a very short window of opportunity here at these as this price pushes down because you're going to get the buyers now coming back in and they're going to be trying to react here. So looking at our measured move support, looking at our trigger zone support, we also have reversal line support in here. I mean, there's a whole heck of a lot of support levels down here. You're going to be looking for those buyers to step in at this measured move support. Now, there is a, there is a chance here, because tomorrow is non-farms, that we may just smoke right on through. And if that's the case, sellers, you're going to want to leave a little portion of that trade open to run hold a few more bullets left over because that should be able to make it down to the low of that big long-term bull channel. So if you're a buyer right now, well, if you're a seller, you better get to it fast. If you're a buyer right now, your, bet, your best bet is to wait for it to make the turn, buying those pullbacks, or wait for it to hit that low and then buying those pullbacks off those lows. If we happen to completely fall apart here, again, because tomorrow is non-farms, if we have, remember, very difficult to be 
to be anticipating everything before this news report comes out. It's going to shake everything up here big time tomorrow. So come out and see me tomorrow in the trade room. Obviously, we'll go over this in real time. But be looking for a larger bear channel here if we do just completely fall out of bed. And members, you know what I'm talking about if you're a student here at School of Trade. Okay, so be aware there is a measured move down. But if we just blow right through this, be looking for a longer term bear channel. Right now, buyers, you guys have a slight edge here in the long term. Be aware, though, these sellers will be pushing this down towards those lows. And this will be the tasty areas here. We'll be looking for those buying opportunities uh, after the non-farm pay report tomorrow. All right, looking good on the euro. Let's wrap it up here with the black gold, the Texas tea, crude oil futures. So you're saying we have the first inventory draw of 2015. I mean, it was it was gross. They they, they really missed the mark, and price goes lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blame it on the Middle East. Blame it on everything else here, but. It's very, very obvious here. We are bearish going into tomorrow's session. Whatever the reason might be, whatever excuses we want to give, doesn't really matter. The chart tells me we are trending significantly lower. Today was a very, very easy, easy signal of that. We just couldn't see the buyers put anything together. I mean, the buyers had a shot around 10, 1030, but that was, <laughs> it didn't last very long. We, we sat here waiting for these sellers to fail and to get this thing to jump for a short covering rally, and it never did it. So it's just, it was very obvious to us here about halfway through our day today that this thing was nowhere near bullish here at all. So crude trending lower this evening after a collapse off the highs, even in the face, in the face of that recent inventory report. I'm just trying to have some fun with you guys here, right? Trying to lighten it up here a little bit on a Thursday evening. So sellers, you definitely want to use those resistance levels overhead to look for those selling opportunities and support levels below, right, for your targets. Buyers, you guys have a very small window here before we run into those resistance levels overhead. This is definitely ripe for a short covering rally. It's ripe for some profit taking ahead of non-farms tomorrow. You know, think about it. If you've got a big position open in the market right now, you're worried ahead of non-farm payrolls tomorrow because you may not be able to get out of that position. Getting into positions are easy Wednesday, Thursday, Friday morning early. But after the bell rings at 8.30 and that non-farm pay report comes out, every big whale in the market out there is most likely going to have to be flat or a very small portion still on the table because they just won't have liquidity to get out of it if they're wrong. So that's why markets tend to get real thin ahead of these big-time news reports. Remember, there are only two big news reports we really care about. What are they again? One we're getting tomorrow, non-farm payrolls, and the other one we got last week. Remember that? FOMC, FOMC. Those are the only two real big news reports that will have lasting impacts right, in these markets. And you're already seeing last week's FOMC you know, still having an impact this week. Bottom line, sellers, you guys have, you guys have the upper hand right now. Looking for those selling opportunities. Heck, we may even we, we may even try to make a run above 60 here before this thing ends up taking its next leg down. And of course, if you're a seller right now, you've got targets here waiting for you below. We have a ton of long-term support targets coming off that $45 a barrel low. So we got long-term support. Plus, you have an extension. All these these three areas here are going to be easy, easy targets. You're going to get some short. You're going to get some some real time targets tomorrow. Once we know how far this thing went up, we'll be able to find some measured moves. We'll be able to find some extensions. But as we see for right now, though, just some kind of easy ones overhead. We've got our ABCD. We've got our ABCD. So you can see there, we're, we're kind of projecting out some of those anticipated support levels overhead. But remember. All bets are off tomorrow morning once that bell rings at 8.30. So we'll do our best to get these things ready for tomorrow. But come out and see me tomorrow in the trade room. We'll, we'll walk you through it all in real time and let you know what we're seeing at that time. And then all we're going to do is wait for the price to react to the news, wait for the dust to settle, and then we'll be off to the races here following that trend back on down tomorrow morning. All right, so buyers, get at it quick. Buyers, get at it quick because the sellers are going to be coming in using these areas of resistance overhead for additional selling opportunities. Remember, as we're going higher here, as we're going higher, there are a few different ways to get short. One would be a reversal pattern. Two would be a failed 
buy pattern, whoops, and three would be just take it easy, wait patiently, and sell those rips on the way back down. Remember, the beautiful thing about being a day trader in the futures markets, you know, we get great leverage in futures, right? We're not trading stocks. Futures has great leverage. The knife cuts both ways, but it means that I don't need to grab the whole move. I can just go after the easy money, right? As my as my good friend Jim Rogers always says, just look for the just look for the bag of cash sitting in the corner. Walk over and pick it up. Don't make it don't make it difficult on yourself. Make the easy money. As always, guys, we'll be trading this stuff tomorrow morning, live in our trade room. Come on and see us, and we'll walk you through. That's right. You don't need to do this tomorrow alone. And if you've never traded a non-farm payroll Friday, be careful tomorrow. Be careful. It gets pretty crazy out there tomorrow morning between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So come out and see me tomorrow, 8 a.m. Eastern time. We open up our live trade room. Again, don't forget, grab those charts. Have those ready for tomorrow. Register for your nightly newsletter mailing list. And if you want to come out and join me in the trade room as a guest, there's your free pass right there. Guys and gals, we have the best free trial in the business here at schooloftrade.com. You can register for a free trial to become an honorary student for a week here at School of Trade. Grab your, grab your free pass. Grab your free trial on our homepage. Don't forget, we offer three levels of membership. We've been doing this longer than anybody else in the world. I'm serious. You can check. Consult with Google. You'll see what I'm saying. And we always have somebody here to help you guys out with any questions you may have. So, guys, last session for the week. We've had a great session this week. What, what, what a great week it's been. Hope you guys had a great week with us. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. If not, I'll see you inside of my trial. We'll see you inside of our trade room. This is my last session for the week here, Monday through Thursday evening. Take the afternoon off. Take the evening off. Spend it with the family and friends. So maybe spend a little bit of that money you made with us this week, and we'll see you guys back here again. Next newsletter will be next Monday. Oh, how could I forget? Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Woo! I'm glad I didn't forget about that. I couldn't, I couldn't wrap this week up by saying a very, very a sincere happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. You know, why, you, you know why we love you guys. I don't need to tell you why you're so important. So thank you for being a great mom. Thank you for being a mom, right? Without you guys, none of us would be here. So thank you so much to the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day out there. Guys, don't say I didn't warn you. Sunday, Sunday, you know what day it is. Don't wait too late. Don't wait too late. I better, I better take my own advice on that. I love you, Mom. I'll see, I'll see you on Sunday. Guys and gals, have a great weekend out there. Be well. Be nice to each other, especially to Mom this weekend. And I will see you tomorrow morning in the trade room. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye for now.